Hello, world. What is up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. Man, we are here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Our next guest is a super funny, super talented comedian and actor. Uh, you've seen her a million times on Chelsea Lately. You've caught her at Midnight. She's in Shameless, a ton of other stuff. Uh, you can currently catch her sling in Tampoozles in season two of the Netflix original series Insatiable as Regina Sinclair. Folks, I am stoked. The great Arden Marine is here. How about that? Make some noise for Arden. It's amazing. It's right here. Let's bring her out. She'll be out here in just a second. Uh, but first, I believe we have a trailer for the show, so let's go ahead, run that clip. I'm Patty Bledel, and I'm not your typical pageant queen. There are things about me that I wish that I could change, but I can't. She's sort of the most amazing girl I've ever met. Yeah, sounds horrible. You're a beauty queen with a hot boyfriend. It doesn't matter what I look like. My life is a total mess. I am a murder suspect, okay? What? Yeah. Did you do it? No! Of course I didn't. Nothing can change who I am or what I've done. Don't let the past drag you down. We're leaving all the drama behind. Oh, Did she just steal my car? She's been through a lot. I decided to take control of my life. I couldn't think about death or destruction. I had to focus on my future. And then who knows what I could do. You can get away with a lot when you're hot. Oh, that just never really does get old. I know Patty. She's a lot of things, but she's not a killer. Oh, girl. Get excited. That was fucking awesome. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the gray Arden Marine right here. Hi, thank you. Are you kidding? Hi, guys. All right. Bright and early, come on, That's no. a, that'll wake you up. Well, get the blood flowing. That'll get the blood flowing. This Hi, is guys. the way to start the day. Hey, everybody. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so oh much. Oh, my gosh. Real quick, before we go any deeper, I was going to try to tiptoe around spoilers, but yeah. I don't know if we have to or not. Have they given you specific instructions? I mean, nobody spoil? has. Should we do... Should we do it now we'll and then and the then way. they can fast forward? So like we'll do two minutes of spoilers. So if you don't want to hear it, fast forward two minutes. We could try to do that. Or you want plug to. your ears. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Oh. Guess what? Guess what? You guys. Oh my god. Do you want to know a secret? Oh my god. Don't Are you ready? Are can you I move this? around? You can do whatever you want. Oh my god. Okay. We got a freaking jib. Hi. Oh my god. You're moving Hi. around. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. No. Okay. Can I? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Hi, Lodge. Oh, my God, you're adorable. Hi, I don't want to give you the... Oh, you have your earbud in. I hope you're listening to music. Okay. Arden, are you seriously doing crowd work three minutes yes. into your okay, interview right are now? You are you ready? Do you want to hear the best thing ever, you guys? <laughs> I'm a fucking TV serial killer. It's true. Round of applause. <laughs> She is a like, murderer. I can lick Cold six blood. people. I can lick six people. Yeah. Okay, yeah, guys. Okay, we're back. We're back. You guys, can you believe it? Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. This is spoiler alert. Can you even handle what I just told you? I can't. I can tell you that. I don't. I, it's unbelievable when that moment happens. I mean, on the floor. Un, uh, incredible reaction. When did you find out? Okay. Thank you so much for asking. I found out. I spent. I have to sit like this because my dress is tight, but it has a really cute ruffle, so I want to kind of show it a little bit. It's pink. Um, I found out last Thanksgiving. I spent Thanksgiving with our showrunner Lauren Gustis, and she pulled me aside and she's like, "You need to know something." You're, you're the serial killer. And I was like, wait, what? And then, so, and none of the cast knew, nobody knew. And I, I was not great at keeping secrets, but I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody. And then nobody else, Alyssa Milano was convinced it was her. Oh. So then part of me was like, did Lauren tell everybody that they're the serial killer? Yeah, maybe she was just playing the room, right? Yeah, playing the room. There. Like, we all think we're the killer. And then when the final episode came out, oh. Debbie Ryan, who's my best friend on the show, she was like, girl, you a secret keeper? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I've never kept a secret. Debbie's fantastic. We had her on the show, I want to say a week ago or so, and we were talking about this. You had a great acronym. You guys are, what are you? Okay, Debbie, Ryan, and I are BFF ATL. We're Perfect. best friends in Atlanta. There you go. That's we film Debbie. in Atlanta. Yeah, I was <laughs> telling you backstage, you know, 
I'm an adult lady. I don't know. I didn't know who Jesse was. You know what I mean? I'm like, I normally do comedies. I booked this show, which was so exciting, but I'm I'm not used to like the beautiful people. <laughs> so I was like, who am I gonna hang out with? Like if it was a CW, I'm like, I don't know who I'm gonna hang out with. Right. Turns out a beautiful Disney star, yeah. Debbie Ryan, BFF ATL, yeah, look right at there. Her. Fantastic. She's so good on the show. She is fantastic. You're all fantastic on this show. It's such a fun show. Yeah, it looks like you guys are having a blast, uh, especially uh, <laughs> you and your character. <laughs> some of the stuff they put you in, some oh of the God. things that you get to say. I'm a garbage person. You it's the best. Oh, I'm the worst. I'm it's pure garbage. Thank you so much. In it. Oh my God, it's truly the greatest thing. Where there's no lessons learned. Like my character. <laughs> You're never no gonna pressure. no. There's never gonna be a very special episode of Insatiable where like Regina teaches you a lesson. Like I am the worst. It's the most fun. You're never gonna get a hug for me that's appropriate. You so know? when you got upgrade because you were uh, kind of like recurring and then yeah. you got full series regular season two. Uh, big deal. Thank you, God. Big deal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. When they came, did, did you have any inkling, okay, I'm going to be on the show more? Did you think in a million years you'd be the. You know, oh my God. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, spoiler window is closed. Okay, now we're going to make noises. Closed. Yeah. No, I honestly, I couldn't. And I thought, well, at least that means I'm not getting. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm, if I'm the wielder of the, the action, then yeah, I'm still exactly. around. No, I was totally, it felt like a present. I feel like it's usually men that get to do this. And so I was so excited to be like a lady version of what we just said. Yeah. What did you do in terms of getting ready to be a garbage person? Oh what goes God. into like your preparation? Oh my God, thank Are you, you basing so much. it on garbage people you've met over your life? Like thank how do you get so ready much. for that? I really appreciate it for asking. Um, season one, I I was like, okay, I, you know, I want to have some humanity with this character. Like, who are my favorite flawed characters? And I thought of Reese Witherspoon in Election. Uh, yeah, Tracy Flick. You guys know Tracy Flick? Like, who just has a will to win and, like, feels persecuted, has, like, no regret. So I, I rewatched Election and... It's just so freeing to play a person who like feels like, no, you don't see me for the real, you know, it's, it's a blast. I highly recommend being a garbage person, not in your real life, but if you get to do it here and there at work. If you can dabble. <laughs> if you can dabble If you could it. just like, it moonlight dabbles. as a garbage person. Side hustle, I like, but by day I'm a lawyer, by my side, my weekend I'm a garbage person. Uh, what, a, what about coming into this, your knowledge, your previous existing knowledge of the pageant world? Did you have any, I mean, did you know anything about it? I, I showed you a photo of myself backstage I looked like Barb from Stranger Things till I was 13 like and you think I'm exaggerating if go to my Instagram you could see that I fully was like ready to be eaten by the Demogorgon like at the end of the diving board um, <laughs> truly people would say to my I grew up in a town with a general store called Little Compton Rhode Island thank you <laughs> and uh, they'd be like oh what a nice little it's like, tiny it's yeah, the tiniest Compton, Compton. Yeah. and they would be like oh what a polite young man and I'm like I'm not I was a full ginger bowl cut and dressed in my brother's clothes. And they'd be like, you're such a nice young man. What's up with the bowl cut? Thank you. I have Why were you doing that? I have, was as that? you can see, I have, a, I have a bounty of hair. I was going to say, you got plenty of hair. I have a lot of hair. I refuse to let my mom wash it. And so you got to be free. You know, I don't want to be reined in. Now when you're getting ready to be an adult garbage person by profession. You started preparing that early. So she was like, I can't handle you. And she literally, there was, first there was Jimmy the Barber. She took me to as the only hair Jimmy person. The barber. Jimmy the Barber gave me sideburns. He looked Character like a, in my one man show, Jimmy the Barber. Oh my God, he runs a tight ship. He does. No He's doubt. stern but fair. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy the Barber. All right, so you go to Jimmy. And what I go to do? Jimmy the Barber, and I got sideburns, and I was like, I'm not going back to Jimmy. So then my mom, like, literally would put a mixing bowl on my head and cut this mop before I discovered hair dye of ginger, just, like, yeah. full bowl. Yeah. And what are you even doing the blonde thing? When Mad TV purchased me, they were like, we don't want a redhead. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they purchased me as a redhead, and they were like, I don't, I mean, redheads are adorable. I don't know if, like, somebody got screwed over in high school by, you know, like a Christina Hendricks or something, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know who angered this person, but they were like, we bought a blonde, we're making you blonde. We bought a blonde. You know what? And I've never gone back. So, actually, that's not true. I had to be red for a CMT show, and it turns out I didn't like it anymore. Didn't like it, and you came no. right back to blonde. No. Yeah. Because hmm. of like my secret operating system, the Barb from Stranger Things, I felt like I was walking around naked. You know what I mean? I felt really? like it was too obvious that yeah, I was still that yeah. lady. You, this is how you want the world right now. Yes. Bright orange Barb dress. Scores. Bright orange dress. A mountain of hair. Nine in the morning. Pink pumps. This is how I want the world to know that I 
I just woke up like this. this yeah. Well, you also jacket. went to sleep like this. I That's the thing. I'm going, why. yes, I went to sleep like this. I stumbled around. I'm, I'm not even no, sure no. where I am right now. I so might I still be drunk. I just stumbled yeah. in. I get dressed 8 o'clock the night before. That's it. And then <laughs> I just sleep, ride it out. Yeah, sleep like you're a losing team. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 100%. Security just let me stumble in, and here I am from last night. When did you, I'm going to bring it back to the show for a yes, minute. When did, when did you find out you were getting a season two? <sighs> What was that phone call like? We found out like we found out like a month later. Allegedly, I don't know if this is how all of Netflix does it, but the rumor is, kids, if you're out there watching, even if you're not interested, just hit play and let it go. Because we're still in the first 30 days. The key is hit play, and you have to watch the entire season for it to like count as a viewing. Yeah. So I just beg all my friends. I'm like, just hit play, go to bed, just like let it run through. They do their metrics, the algorithm happens. <laughs> and then we found out, and I was so happy. That's wild. It's a blast. Yeah. And then I saw, I think you'd posted out of the binge report or something that people are watching this season two. Uh, uh, apparently, yeah. apparently we were the most binge show on network and um, Netflix last week. That's amazing. It's Hold crazy. for applause. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Shout out Latte. She got me. She got me. That's pretty amazing. So then, because of where season two ends with the home, yeah. that's got to have you really excited for the idea of a season three, of where well, you yeah. could go, of what you could do with Regina. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, like, because my, my BFF ATL is, like, coming after me. You know what I mean? Like, it's like a chase. There's, like, a chase happening. How fun is that? That. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Your BFF ATL. Yeah, uh, Debbie Ryan. I know you You have to, I think we talked about, you don't have friends in every, it's not like coins. You have I don't have any friends anywhere else. <laughs> <It's just your laughs> That's my only friend. AT and, and we and can't talk in Los Angeles. It's only in Atlanta. It's the only time you can speak. Do you both have to be there? Can one of you be in Atlanta? You one to... of us could be in Atlanta. So you just have to anchor it there. I would say, no, she's my only like person that... I didn't want to be so bold. Look, I I have childhood best friends. She she's a busy lady. She's she's a, she's been the lead on a Disney show. You yes. know, yes. I didn't want to be the the, the character Too actor patient. adult woman coming in with like a mortgage and being like, you're my best friend. You know what I mean? Like you got to slow your. I really had to temper it. But we had when I say we, I had. Yeah. Cat rings made for the two of us that say What's it? BFF ATL on uh, the inside. Can you describe in detail a cat ring? Thank you so much I, for asking. Yeah. I, um, I do stand up and um, I've accidentally become a cat lady. I married a straight male cat lady. He loves cats. So he's assured, he literally, we have, I hated cats. And now I have four. And he's assured that, yeah, your face is correct, ma'am. That's the right response. He's assured that if, like, if I die, he'll have a, he's a hot guy with four cats. Like, women will be out. If he dies, I will never get laid again. Like, never will I have human contact. I'll never even get a kiss again. Because um, of the cats. Because of the cats. So I do stand up, and with a guy that I toured with knew that I like. So he found, you know those Instagram ads? They're like, you might like this product. This crazy-ass cat ring pub. It's gigantic. It has, like, an upper body situation. There's, like, knockoff emeralds. He sent it to me and said, you probably want this. And I was like, he's right. Like, he knew. Now I'm so I deep not in. Yeah. I need Not only do I want it, I need it. So I had, I bought two, and then I went to the shadiest engraver in downtown Los Angeles, who I had to text people and say, "When I get murdered, is I'm at this, my body's in the engraver's. Uh, this is the address." Clenching two cat rings. Exactly. Clutching, she went down as she lived, clutching two cat rings. Take my phone, but leave the cat rings. <laughs> Take the yeah. phone. And I had, it was. I kept thinking. Uh, us, like, this is how, like, murder podcasts start. Like, a lady goes into this weird building to get a BFF cat ring made for a, a Disney star yeah. never to be seen again. <laughs> An adult woman covered in cat hair going, no, I am best friends with a Disney is star. The, is it the kind of ring that covers the knuckle? Is it large? It's is pretty it, large. Yeah. It's it's about the size, I would say, of, like, a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> You know, maybe they should make cat rings for the Super Bowl winners. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there, sir. I need a side hustle. I can't be a garbage person forever. I was going to say, you're oh, describing. Oh, look, my legs look tan. They're not. It's makeup. <laughs> I'm back. I'm not flashing you. You good? Yeah. Uh, thank you. I have extensions in. You Hi. <laughs> 
Is that all my hair? Isn't it good? Thank you. Thank you. She ready. She ready. Look at that. Hey, vampire wife, I love your clothes. Please send me free ones. I can't afford you. This is the only one I could afford. It was on sale. This is the perfect time to do that. Yeah, I always say that to people. $200. I, the rest of their stuff is like two grand. I'll wear it literally every day. You can photograph me everywhere. Please I tell send everyone me that clothes. comes here, don't just plug your show. Get an endorsement while Please. you're here. Come on. Yes. Look how cute this dress is. Look at this. You want one at home. It's vampire's wife, right? I... I'm their endorsement person. Thank you. Steve They're Madden. Right? I've got life. Steve Madden shoes because I can't afford anything after the dress. <laughs> Send me free clothes. I'll wear it everywhere oh. next to Debbie Ryan. And she has followers. That's true. And a Quite cat ring you. that she doesn't wear. I'm the only one who's worn it. She photographed it and said, thank you so much. And she's like threw it out the window. She was on, I believe she was on your <laughs> podcast. Is True that story? right? Oh, yeah. Have you done hers yet? Yes, I have. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I sure have. You I guys sure are podcast have. buddies, too. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're podcast BFF. P-O-D-B-F-F. A-T-L. A-T-L. P-O-D-B-F-F-A-T-L. But not L-A-C-A. Oh, no, 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 no. P-O-D-B-F-F-A-T-L and L-A-C-A. It's too much. Okay, it's a well, it's competition. It's a lot, yeah. I've got too many cats. I've got like a moat of cats to get through before you can get to me, so that's why. They don't come to Atlanta. The protective cat moat. True story. That's a power move. True Your story. podcast in particular, uh, I host, this rose? I host a Bachelor podcast. Yes, you I'm, do. It's a hard-hitting political podcast. But you've got a podcast rest. milestone coming up. The podcast Rite of Passage. You guys are about to have your first podcast live show. Our, sorry, first live show in Los Angeles in where Los we're Angeles. doing draft picks and we just got bought by iHeartRadio. Oh, my God. Now, oh, now hey. Oh, yeah. hey. For those of you who watch The Bachelor, I'm petitioning. I want to do a live podcast at Stagecoach where a lot of them were humping each other before the season. A lot of the drama went down when Blake was banging everyone. So I'm like trying to like go do like get in, see what's happening, see if spits being exchanged or whatnot. I don't know. I'm not judging you, but I want to do a live show there. Of all the things in the world, what was it about Bachelor? You were like, that's where I'm going to set up camp. That's my podcast. I topic. never watched it before in my entire life. And I watched it. I was like, I'm busy. I don't, I'm not, I am not a garbage person. Like, I'm not going to watch that. And then someone was like, you should watch it. So like, okay. Um, so I watched the season. I became obsessed. I feel like almost like a sporting event. I'm like, who's going to, who's going to make it all the way to the Super Bowl? And so um, I was like, I watched one season and then I saw a lot of funny people I knew also were fans of the show. And I was like, I need somebody to talk about this with. So I had a vision. I commissioned the grossest song in the world. I was like, I wanted to feel like a man jumped out of a bush and like has like hot breath on your neck and you're like ew and that's what the theme song sounds like and um i've made my it's like i've made like a vision board where i've now befriended all the contestants like i've built my own dream where i make television come to life and yeah. they come do it they're you know so show, hot. i don't know if you watched the show or not but i had a similar experience where i didn't watch it Talk some really me. funny people i know were talking about it and loved it and now i'm obsessed can i guess Go for it. 90 Day Fiance. Hells yeah. Oh! <laughs> I watched my first one last night. Did you really? I watched my first Beyond. Which variation? I watched, was it be I watched Beyond, Beyond before, uh, the 90 days. before the 90 Days. I watched okay. a woman while I was getting ready. I met Eddie Murphy last night. Oh, my God. I went to the door. We're coming Murphy back to that. We're coming okay, back great, to that. Great. <laughs> okay. But I watched. Okay. So before I was getting my makeup on. So I was like, oh, let's watch Everybody Loves 90 Day. This is what was on. So we watched it. When I was getting primped to go meet my new BFF NYC, Eddie Murphy. Um, so we were watching. Watching it, and it was the one where some woman had like I think she sort of bought a guy, but she was still married, right? And right. she was still married. He was mad. You know who I'm talking about? How does it end for them? Did she? Did they meet online? Like typically, yeah. I mean, and there was a guy that like was supposed to go on a trip with some woman he'd met for five years, and he kept sending her money, and she didn't show up, but he kept sending it again. I'm like, it's a pretty common like series. It's like you thing. can't yeah. pay your phone bill, bro. Like she's not coming. She's not coming. This show there. Okay, so okay, okay, there's okay, like okay. Seven different variations. I don't even know show. where to get in. I don't even well, know. That's the hardest part. But the beauty is, I felt the same way. <sighs> I know. I I'm know. palpitating with excitement. I know. Okay. I felt the same way. You could enter at any point. And okay. It's fantastic. I'm going to tell you that right now. I mean, there was a guy that, like, had promised this, like, dad, like, goats or something. And they were like, you don't have enough money, you know? And then he was like, I have $600. A lot of dowry talk. Yeah. And it was like. Surprisingly. Yeah. And it was like, and like this little like, young lady is beautiful. And I'm like, she doesn't want to be with you, my man. <laughs> like, what is happening? And also show up with more than $600. <gasps> Oh my God! It's okay. I am you want another one? right now. Want, no, I'm got, good. You I'm good? good. Are you? I'm yeah. good. This is all it's vodka. Though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> My outfit looks good with right, this. This is deal. exciting. Come on, go. Vampire Wave. I'm the new endorsement. I got to get to some of the audience questions. Great. Uh, just <laughs> prom you got to come back. There's a trillion things we haven't I talked about it. yet. Uh, okay, this first one's coming is from Twitter. This right. is Robert Q610. Yeah. Uh, love Regina and Insatiable. Thanks. Is there anyone in your personal life that you've modeled her after? Also, oh, which actor is most like their character okay, and great. least like their character? Okay, great. I'm going to start with the second part first. Okay. Most like their character is Bob Barnard, who always takes off his shirt. He's literally good at everything. Thing. Like, he is clothed, like, he wears okay. shirts, but he's got a great bod. What's fun on this show is the men are the more, f the women eat everything, and the guys are the ones who are like, I gotta be shirtless. It's like, ha ha. Um, but he's good at everything. He's like a golden boy, you know? Like, we went and played darts, and he just kept getting bullseyes, you know? And he couldn't believe, like, I couldn't even hit, like, the wall, you know? Just when he was like, you probably shouldn't be throwing pointy objects around alcohol. Um, and then I would say least like their character, hmm. That's an interesting question. Let me th I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna get back to that because we're we're doing a talk show and you gotta keep it interesting. Um, um, in my real life, who's Regina based on? I mean, my mom was a real estate agent, Janet Marine JJ. She was the best, and like she, there was something that she was like, you know, number two in loving and sassy and just sort of like a working lady. She's not a garbage person, but I would say for that she question. had, but she had sort of like a little like dust yourself off and keep going, girl. Yeah. Yeah, there was my southern accent. No, it's nice. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you. So nice. I like your pocket square. You know, oh, thank you thank so much. Thank you. And I like your shoes. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't take compliments well. No, you look good. Nice. Thank you so much. We color coordinated. I know. This is very nice. It worked out. I got We're like a Howard Johnson. Does that still exist? Does, <laughs> yeah. does Hojo still exist? <laughs> Mr. Twist, please. The best. Um, okay, Kate, do I have some in the room? Perfect. Let's get to the two that are in the room. Great. Let's go. Microphone, first Hi. up. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I was just wondering if you could play any other character on the show <laughs> than your own. Who would it be? Oh, my God. That's a really fun question. Golly, I mean, hmm, if I could play any other character, I feel like I might, I would play probably one of the Bobs. I feel like, I feel like there is a fun, like, I don't know if I'd be shirtless Bob or Bob Armstrong who's the underdog. Maybe I'd be Bob Armstrong, the underdog who, who... Just, I, you know, he's I, Dallas Roberts, who is amazing and looks just like John Ritter. I feel like I would go for that. He looks just like John Ritter. Yes. He's a Juilliard guy that didn't know he was funny. He's amazing. Where does he get off? Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, great question. I would love to do one more. Let's go. Oh, come on down. Hi. Hi. From our website. Hi. Okay, great. So they're asking, what was the most memorable scene for you on set? Oh, man. I'm going to have to say... I mean, the emu costume was a lot. The emu costume was a journey. I, okay, spoiler alert, close your ears. I think it was like the finale scene where you find out that there's like a, there's like a body hanging with an ax in it and you find it that I did it. <laughs> and you're like, I mean, I, it was amazing and it was crazy. And that, I think that was a real present to get. I mean, not in a good way. Don't do that at home, kids. But I would say that that was like, I never gotten to do something like that. Thank you. Uh, before we get out of here, yes. we had talked briefly. You've got a book coming out. I have a book coming out. Yes, that's right. Okay. Ah! Um, my parents married on a dare. They weren't dating. They were coworkers. It's called Little Miss Little Compton. And um, they moved from New York to this tiny town to raise my brother and I. And that's where it starts. But um, it'll be coming out next fall. So I'll have to come back when I have a link. Because it's all about pre-sales, guys. It's all about pre-sales. And I don't think you can buy it yet. But I just did the cover shoot this weekend. And there's one that I really want them to pick. But I fear they're not going to pick it. But you've seen it. I've seen Seen it, and I can vouch this needs to be the cover. It's a recreation of my sixth grade photo where I look like Barb from Stranger Things, and it's insane. You uh, you paid to have to get braces. I paid. I paid good, hard-earned money. That it's not, and I don't. I'm begging for clothes, so it's not like I'm loaded. Like let's be real. I got Steve Madden. Like you know, I'm like jamming in my own hair. It's it's I. Um, 
And I paid, I got like retainer braces made. Because I, I was on Matt TV, so I was like, who, who's like a makeup artist that can make Nobody it? Can do this. That was yeah. the best thing that came out of Matt TV, that and being blonde. You're holding an incredible cat that I believe has thumbs. My cat Mittens, one of my fourth, my newest cat um, on the pot cat pile. She has thumbs. She, I've literally seen her like. Is she aware of the thumbs? Yes, she can like open she, the bathroom. Yeah, she like out. opens the bathroom. She's this large. Her hands are like the size of Michael Jordan. She could like palm a basketball. <laughs> She's got a face like grumpy cat it's the great I, I just didn't want to look like sexy lady comedian like oops you know like yeah. i am like no i want i want the real inner like this gal that you've all been hanging out with like the yeah. freak to be on the cover right so, so if i'm understanding I correctly understood by you sir. we're at a crossroads he he didn't judge me there we're at a crossroads the cover could either be uh braces cat with thumbs recreation or like pretty or just like pretty, pretty lady, lady and all that stuff you you want cat I, with thumbs i want cat with thumbs barb from stranger things hair bow like like I saw the bow as well yeah hair bow like like you know when people on instagram now are recreating all their childhood photos i want it is the worst people think i'm being so self-deprecating i was not at all an attractive child. I she she glowed up. She glowed up. So what do you think? Nothing hashtag, I'm not right now. I'm doing the best I can, guys. Hashtag cat with thumbs. Yes. I don't know. How do we make yes. this happen? Oh my how god. Hashtag cat, cat with, thumb. Cat thumb. Yes. Yes. Hashtag cat, cat, thumb, cat yes. thumb. Yes. Internet. Arden's publisher. <laughs> Hashtag cat thumb, yes. My is Arden, A R D E N M Y R I N. I prefer Instagram, yeah. but I'll take whatever, anything. You can Let's do it on Friendster, do it Internet. on MySpace. Hashtag cat thumb, yes. Please listen to me for the publisher. Please. Arden, the show's on Netflix right now. Your book's on its way. Your live show's happening in uh, December. December it's Los Angeles at Dynasty Typewriter. December 15th, we've got Lance Bass. We've got Wells Adam. Lance Bass, guys. Instinct, are you kidding me? Yeah. He's like, it's insane. Okay, yeah, he's like it's basically like having Timberlake. Is the best. Might as well. Uh, Might as well we got be. Rob Benedict from Supernatural. We got Patrick Brewster from Criminal. Li my, yeah, it's all happening. Have I forgotten? Is there anything else you want the world to know about before you get out of here? Oh my God, um, I love peanut butter. I love naps. And, got it. And um, <laughs> and I am I'm grateful to be here. I love New York. I love New York City is my favorite city. So for Bye keeping bro. tabs, what was the name of the dress company? Oh, Vampire Wife. Vampire Wife. Vampire and, uh, Wife. Skippy or Jiffy. Vampire Peter Pan. Wife. Any kind of anything, peanut butter. I'll take Skippy. I'll take Jiffy. I'll take a bougie what we're looking for. I'll add the salt, the sugar later. It's all good. I'll stir the oil. I don't care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you We've so all learned much. a lot. This hard-hitting political. Ladies and gentlemen, Arden Marine. Thank Check you. out Insatiable. Thank Make you. a crazy amount of noise. What Come is on. joy?